Alright, what's up on my Dragon Langs? I am the Dragon God of Gaming, Damien Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Would You Rather. It's been a little while since I've been back here, so this is going to be a little bit of fun. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hop straight in and see what we got. So sounds good to everything else? Everyone else good? Good? Alright. Alright, first question would be, would you rather be a shark or would you rather be a dolphin? Now, dolphins are very smart, but sharks are like the predators of the sea. So, would I rather be very smart or very primal? Well, dolphins do still get preyed on, but sharks, sharks really don't want to be, you don't really want to fuck with, so. God damn it, people! <laughs> Gotta be a dolphin. I mean, yeah, that's very intellectual, but shit. Then the kids, well, more like kiss Hitler. Well, at least he's tried to be like he's tried to like elongate his life. He tried to he he, he just wanted to wipe an entire race off the face of the planet. So you get you you go with the the lesser of two evils, okay? Would you rather own your pet? own pet snake or own a pet turtle now it's not that my, my friend actually she owns a pet snake and some of them can be very adorable but I would love to have a pet turtle so I could just train them in kung fu and shit <laughs> so yeah turtle power <laughs> oh yeah that's a really good estimate right there Yep. Yep, that's that, that's a thing. That's a thing. Would you rather have an iPhone or have an Android device? Would I rather have an iPhone or an Android device? I want to go with an iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I I need to know. Really, to be honest. Why is everyone going with iPhone? They're so fucking expensive. And to be honest, Android does the same fucking things. It's like, oh, let me just flash a new iPhone. Yeah, let me drop fucking a thousand dollars on this fucking phone that literally does fucking nothing. That my phone that does that's fifty fucking eighty dollars can probably do the same fucking thing. You guys are fucking weird. I would just rather have a phone. I would rather have any phone. I've had this for about three years. This is a Galaxy Note 3. There's been like four of... There's been like three others in this fucking line that I could have picked. And guess why? I stick with this because one... Because this actually fucking works. Would you rather never be able to touch anyone again? Or never be able to talk to anyone again? To be honest, I don't really talk to much people anyway. And never be able to touch anyone again. Um, I'll be having horrible problems. But never be able to talk to anyone again is actually something a little good. Um, to be honest, doing, doing this job, I'm not talking to nobody. But I'm, ta I'm, I'm talking to you guys, but I'm not talking to nobody. So this still counts. So yeah. You guys are horrible people. <laughs> to, to be honest, it's like never be able to touch someone, meaning that you can never get a hug again. You can never, t you can never shake someone's hand again. You can never be able to fucking uh, kiss your girlfriend. You never can be able to kiss your man. You will never be able to hold anyone's hand. You, ne you can never be able to hold anything. So I hope you enjoy your life seclusion. <laughs> Damn, I'm getting like, like permanent, like very permanently weird in this. Why? Would you rather be required to perform two years of mandatory military service in your two in your turn eighteen or have a draft have a draft in force during a war during wartime? Having a draft during wartime it's I, again like be required to perform two years of mandatory military service, I don't see that being bad. Like, military service can be a lot of things. It's just, it's not all combat training. 
And seriously, you don't always need to be doing combat training to be in the military. Like some train to be doctors, some train to be like technicians and stuff like that. Engineers. Like people really stress the word military. Like everyone thinks, oh, combat guns. No, there's a lot of branches that goes into the military. And apparently that a lot of people really don't understand that. So let me retell it to you. It's not all combat. So, to be honest, it's not that, but this has a implication that we're in a, a major crisis. And that means a lot of people are dying and a lot of people are needed. So, yeah, you can just perform this. And again, that number though. <laughs> Would you rather have a lisp or a, a lazy eye? Now, I don't mind, I wouldn't mind either, to be honest. Um... But I'd rather have. I, I do have a speech impediment, and I I've been called on a, on it once or twice. I still don't have full use of my vocabulary, and you can tell when I'm actually flustered or like I'm having a hard time saying something, and that's because of my speech impediment. So yeah, yeah. So understandably, I I understand the list. So making it a little bit more harder for me to talk is a challenge. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Thank you, people. Wear an eye patch or wear a peg leg. Again, lesser two evils. If you have a peg leg, that means one of your legs are gone. If you have an eye patch, then one of your eyes are gone. So let, I'm going to take this as very seriously. I would need one of these. So if I had needed one of these, then I'd rather have the eye patch. Meaning, yeah, I don't have very good sight, but at least I have full mobility, you know? There we go! Turn off from the magic number. <laughs> be a character on Lost or be characters on Heroes? I have never heard of the show Heroes. I don't really watch much TV. Like, to be honest, I don't have cable no more, so I don't really watch shit. And what I usually used to watch is cartoons and then, uh, Ridiculousness. Or, uh, um, Rob Dirty's Fantasy Factory. Or cooking shows. But, that's usually what I watch. So, yeah. I, I've never caught an episode of Lost in my life. I've heard about it. But i never heard about Heroes. So, I'm gonna go with the things I know. I'm sorry, sorry everyone on the internet. Maybe I, 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 I probably just fucked up. <laughs> I'm sorry. If anyone can tell me what the fuck Heroes is, I will probably change my answer. <laughs> Would you rather bring Elvis back or bring Tupac back? Both! Uh, both died in horrendous ways. Elvis died on the toilet overdosing and Tupac got shot to death. Um, but, would I rather have the King of Rock or, you know, they're both icons in their own right. Well, to be honest, Tupac. Tupac had less of a life left. Elvis had had a good 40, 50 years. Elvis, um, Elvis had a good, a good run. Tupac did it. So, and plus, Tupac and like music now would be a godsend. To be honest, cause half the rappers on the fucking planet do not know how to rap. I'm sorry. Basically, your whole fucking thing is not saying anything. You guys just got so good at music that you get you didn't get to say shit. You don't know what the fuck to say. Now, Tupac, he had some really good fucking music. He knew how to rap, and he rapped the truth. So, yeah, there you go. How many of you guys actually knew, uh, actually heard Elvis sing before? None of you. Or did you just go off of all oh, nothing but a hound dog? <laughs> but seriously, guys, Tupac could do a lot more for music than Elvis can. Elvis would have a good 20 years, like 10, 20 years, as a rock and roll artist now. Tupac would have about 40 or 50 to change the game again. And I would I would cherish the moment to have him change everything up again. 
because this man has done a lot for music. He, he um, Elvis did too. I'm not, I'm, I'm not disputing that, but I, I miss Tupac. I'm sorry. I, I used to listen to it. I used to listen to Tupac a lot, and I I, I still listen to his music still to this day. So yeah. Okay. Would you rather lie every time you were asked a question, or tell the truth every time you were asked a question? Now I don't really need to lie about anything. If I ask a question, and you ask a question, and I don't know, I'm just gonna say, "Fuck if I know." If I know the answer, then uh, I'll just give you the fucking answer. Why would I need to lie? Oh, but I know what people will lie for because if little kids had to be like, "Oh, what, what if your mom asked you what you were doing with yourself, and you have to tell her?" So the fuck what? I don't need to hide anything from my mother. <laughs> To be honest, there's nothing. There's nothing I, I I need to hide. Nothing else. She all she wants me to do is make sure that I don't get in trouble. I make sure to stay out of jail, and I keep myself healthy and clean. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> so there we go. As long as I'm not pegging people with freaking bullets, and I'm not going out and trying every fucking drug in the universe, then I'll be fine. I don't really need to lie. Oh, and for the married people, oh, what if your wife and husband ask you if you're cheating and you were? I'm like, then I'm just gonna be like, hey, how do you stop being a bitch and break up the woman or break up with the man? If you don't want to be with them, don't be with them. Fuck. Spare them and spare yourself. Shit. So, I, there we, there we go. That's, that's the kind of shit. There we go. <laughs> be a Muslim or be a Jew. Okay, let me go. Let me pass that. I am not going into that. I'm already getting a shit storm. So, rather, I, I'd rather avoid the hurricane of horrible comments now. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with being Muslim and there's nothing wrong with being Jewish. So, you have a problem with me saying that I don't get really give a fuck about your opinion. <laughs> Cause guess what? I have my opinions and I can say them. <laughs> if you want to spread your if you want to spread your beliefs, you can make your own channel, but don't bring them around mine. All right. <laughs> oh, this this guy this this went down the tubes real quick. <laughs> All right. I like how they're they're advertising craft up here. Okay. Would you rather? Work recycling human poop for the rest of your life. Work with dangerous like, explosive chemicals for the rest of your life. Okay, so would I rather be um, recycling poop or would I rather be recycling um, explosive chemicals? I could get very sick from this. On the other hand, I could die from this. So would I rather get a horrible disease or die? This would probably lead to death anyway, so... The magic number! The magic number! It's keep on coming back! 69, baby, 69! And all, all you people that are saying that I'm, I'm weird for keep on saying 69, well, guess what? I don't care. <laughs> Yay! Would you rather save two family members of save 10,000 strangers? Oh, dilemma, 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 dilemma. Dilemma, 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 dilemma. Okay, so it's, it, it's the more versus less debate. Like, would you rather save the most lives over the few? Fuck, man. I mean, as long as, uh, you know, they're not saying what family members are in danger. So it's not my mother, my brother, my brothers, or my sisters. So I, to be honest, half my family hates me. <laughs> uh, I can't say that they all love me, but uh, sometimes me, and my family, my family and I don't see eye to eye. My mother and my mother, my brother, and my sister were we, we see eye to eye. The rest of my family, some of us don't. Like, I, I can't say that because it's true. And, like, I don't see eye to eye with my father. I never have. 
Um, my auntie Carol. I love her to pieces. Yeah, love you, auntie. Um, my grandmother. There's not lot much I can say about my grandmother. My uncle is psychopathic, so. Ah. <laughs> so. More with a few, I guess. Okay, yeah. Okay. I gotta say more of the few, but you you know where I was going with this. I'm I'm not gonna say I wouldn't say my family, but again, the more over the less, you know. I guess that's kind of the thing. But I would I I would say my family if there was this was a real scenario. But you know, would you rather launch an atomic bomb or be bombed with an atomic bomb? That means I I die either way. And the uh, question, how close am I to the blast zone? <laughs> if I'm uh, a mile away from it, I'm still gonna feel that shit. But I'd rather be launching it than be bombed by it. I gotta be on a watch list at some point. <laughs> at this point, yeah, I, I gotta be on a watch list or something. But I'd rather launch an atomic bomb. Yeah. Well, let's see. They say where I can launch it into the Pacific and nobody wants it. Yep. Ohio, because all the people who live there are actually corn facts. You're a horrible person, you know that, meow? Why not blow up right? Ah. Uh, oh. Oh, God. You guys are horrible people. How about I go with the first answer and launch it into the Pacific? Way, way into the Pacific. Okay, so, would you rather watch only dramas for the rest of your life or while you watch comedy? That's not even a debate. I love comedies. I love laughing my ass off. So, yes. Yes. Would you rather have a child in 7th grade and raise it or never have kids or such that? Um... At the moment, I wouldn't want kids. Even with my girlfriend. So, our whole thing is, we don't know. We don't know whether we want any or not. And you gotta think, this is something that you would want to know in advance. So, me and her talk about, me and her does talk about a couple things that have to do with life. So this, this has come up at one point. And we're not sure either way. But having a child in the seventh grade and raising it, not that bad. But never having a kid to adopt, I would have to do this. Because I wouldn't... It, it doesn't really matter either way. It's like, you gotta have him regardless. So, yeah. <laughs> when an Oscar or win a Nobel Prize. Alright, so this is actually a very, very thoughtful thing. But I already know what I would go with. I would probably, I'll go with the Nobel Prize. And here's why. The Nobel Prize is for people that has contributed something to society, to humankind, to humanity. And they're and they are um, symbols of you bringing us further into the future. Or bringing us further to an advancement. As for the Oscars, you win the prize for uh, being a good actor. I would say, if I'm contributing something to humanity, that would be it. Yeah, 60. Almost off the magic ratio. Uh, we'll do one more after this, and uh, we'll... <laughs> we'll do it. Would you rather drool abnormally in public, or audibly moan during each conversation you have? Okay, so this comes down to... <laughs> um, if this is like a conversation, and, like, I... <laughs> Okay, to be honest, I saw this, I saw this in, um, a mini lab video I was watching, like, two days ago, and he, and against him and, uh, Jiggly, Big Jiggly Panda, so, I don't know what the, uh, ratio is now, but, they were saying something like, if you're in a conversation like this, and you're like, okay, let me pick this one, <sighs> <laughs> Oh man, then uh, then then we put the ground there. But if you're going into like industry or something, then yeah, this could be good either way. So 
Uh, I'd rather not be hurt in public. At least I can uh, put something over my face to do that. That'd be fine. If you had to, would you rather eat the? Would you rather? If you had to, would you rather eat? Would you rather eat the Twitter bird or would you rather eat the WWF panda? Oh God, Twitter bird, cause it. I want to eat birds anyway. Might as well add one to the list. Yeah, cause I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to eating a panda. Speaking of which, hey, big Jake and panda, do you notice me? Please talk to me. <laughs> I would love to have a fucking conversation with you. <laughs> you seem like a really cool dude. So you can, please, send me a YouTube message. Please. <laughs> would you rather have your fingers become hot dogs forever? Have your chance be relatively acidic? Relatively acidic. Relatively. So, almost acidic is basically what they're going for there. I don't see really a big problem. But having my fingers eaten, that means I won't be able to play no games no more. So! Yeah! 67. <laughs> Again, two off of the magic number. Alright, this is a question for all of you. Would you rather star in Wicked or star in The Lion King? If you could play in a Broadway show. Tell me what you guys would think. Tell me guys what you would do. Would you pick blue or red? Let me know down in the comments below and let me know why. So, let's have a little bit of a debate here. See if we can get our own little 50-50 going on here. But, for now, I hope you guys did enjoy today. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> I, I, I miss bringing this back. And I really wanted to get back in. So, shit. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today. I should have had a lot of fun just going through these. I'm sorry if it got a little bit tense at the beginning of it. But it's some of the some of these will will make you go into like deep shit. So oh well. But for now guys, I think I'm gonna leave it off with this. Thank you everyone so much for watching the video and if you guys like it, please smash the like button and show who's boss and share and subscribe for the glory of the dragon. So you too may become a mortal. But from Damien to you to plan to video games of the world, I will see you dragonlings in the very next episode. Peace my friends, good gaming, happy hunting. And I'll see you Dragon Lane back inside the world of choices. Hope you guys enjoyed today. I'll see you guys next time for some more Damien Dragon action. Peace!